Community Government Center, the Mastery One Point of Trouble, Community Government Center is truly the hub of our tribal nation. At this time, when you think about our tribe as being a very ancient tribe, 12,000 years on this land, to have this modern, uh, state-of-the-art uh, hub of our tribal universe, this new Community Government Center is truly representative of a renaissance time for our tribal nation. What does that mean for us? It means that our community has a place to gather and convene around tribal issues, tribal concerns, and receive the necessary services that are so important to our tribe, from housing to health care to education to natural resources, and much, much more. We also have our tribal courts here. We have a state art fitness center, and you know, diabetes is very high in our community as well as heart rate issues. And so when we come here, we can get natural healing, and certainly that's important to us from a spiritual sense of who we are as Mastery Wampanoag people, but also that physical sense of being able to work out and get healthy and get that right type of health care from our health team here at the tribe. And that's such a very important thing to our tribal nation. So when you think about what we're doing for our tribal nation today as a sovereign nation, we're providing it right here at a hub, and I call this a hub, a hub of our universe where we can get all these necessary services. What it means to me, it's a, it's a heartbeat of the tribe. This is our universe right here, uh, our, our headquarters, uh, it's anchored to the land, uh, and we hope that it's going to be here forever. Uh, I remember the old building that we had here, and when it was put here, and how it functioned and how it started be, to become too small for the programs and stuff that we're, we're bringing in. And uh, when I saw the plans for this building here uh, three or four years ago, I didn't think that I would live long enough to see it completed. <laughs> and uh, I'd come down when they for the foundation and keep track of what was happening, not day to day, but once a week or something like that. And it was amazing how uh, the thing started to grow from the ground up. Um, and uh, it, it made me feel good to know that we had a place of our own and, and we always would have a place of our own on our own land because we'd fought so, so hard over the years to have a place of our own for, where our people could gather and uh, for purposes of uh, business, and social, and, uh, whatever it took uh, to, to bring bring our people together and keep keep them together. So uh, to me, it, it's it, it's like a, a phoenix that rolled from the ground up. And this is a result of, of uh, the efforts that our tribe had put into all these years to, to uh, bring this to fruition. In each and every person in this tribe, they have something tangible, something that they can call their own, you know, and we haven't really had that of this magnitude, you know, we come from very small places, uh, the, the, the parsonage, our old tribal council that we used to have, and to see this, and to, to see our children playing today, and to see our elders here, they could be home, sitting home with their families, but they're here with us because it's something that they wanted to see as well. And I'm so glad that they have reached the years that they have in order to be able to be here with us. You know, we have our pregnant women out there looking forward to when their child comes into this world. A new birth, just like this building for us. A new birth, that's what this is, a new birth. And the thing about it is that I look out the window and I see our children playing uh, 
next in the woods and playing on the soil that was dug up from the earth here now, you know what I mean? That will suit later on for soil, for grass later on, you know? And it's a beautiful thing to see. I see smiles on our children's faces, smiles on our elders' faces, smiles on our women's faces, and all those who are here, you know what I mean? It's a really joyous occasion, and I can say uh, the energy that was brought here today, whether it be through the smudging, the fire, it, uh, everybody's own energy to help contribute this circle, what I call building medicine, has been absolutely terrific here today. And, and the thing about it, I know our ancestors are looking down upon us and they are proud, you know, because this isn't something that was just handed to you, here you go. We had to undergo an awful lot in order for this building, for that first brick, for the hole to even be starting to be dug here. We had a lot of things that we had to overcome before this was even a, a thought, you know, <clears throat> you know. Um, many, many things that we had to overcome over the years, you know what I mean, for us to even, you know, the thing about it is that they don't even think that we're still here, but here we are, standing strong. Why? Because of our spiritual beliefs that we have in the Creator, the love that we have for one another, and the love that we have for our elders and our children and our families. My name is David Green. Uh, I'm a tribe member. I was brought on uh, when, before the project started as the clerk of the works. I was uh, tribal representation to monitor uh, everyday construction and, and what went on. Um, it was a great honor and a privilege for me to be here. Um, you know, I, uh, from when the, the building, the old building that was here, I, I came in with the chief as he did his ceremony before they tore the building down. Um, I uh, also monitored and made sure that we had tribal participation on the job, so I, I kept track of everybody that was on site working, made sure that everything was done and done per plans and specifications and just monitored the overall construction. Um, so when the first tree came down, I, I was here and uh, like I say, it was, it was a great honor just, just to be here um, and to, to watch this whole project. Uh, turn into what it is now, uh, watching the, the foundation go in and, and, the, and the steel go up and through the winter and you know watching all of the, the tribal members that participated was just, it was amazing. Uh, and then to see what, what the building became uh, and to be part of you know monitoring the punch list and creating the punch list and all of the, the work that was going on and, and being able to take pride in uh, making sure that everything was done the way it was supposed to be done. Um, so it was, a, it was a great honor and a great privilege. And, uh, you know, Jesse and, and Cedric, the, the vice chair and the chairman, to be able to work with them uh, was, was an honor and, and a privilege. And, you know, to see the, what they put into this building uh, just uh, made me proud, that's for sure, as a, as a tribe member, and, and to be here for that. How long did the project take? The project was about 13 months from start to finish, uh, which was great. We, we had some change order stuff that went in later on and, and added to the project, um, but it was about 13 months overall. And uh, would you mind sharing the, the budget? Uh, the budget was um, just a, about $13 million overall uh, that we uh, put into the project. Did you come in on time on budget? We came in on time, uh, just a little bit over time, but yeah, and on budget. We, uh, we, we met what we were, we were looking to accomplish, that's for sure. Congratulations, not many projects can say that. No, and it was, it was awesome, really something awesome.
maintenance director here at the new building. I, uh, what does the new building mean to me? Well, to me it means jobs for a lot of my family and cousins and friends. It means a place for us to all gather, talk, get along with one another. It's another place where we can have different events and, and get along again, but I guess it all comes down to people getting together, or the tribal members and, and, and outside people getting together and getting along, leaving bad feelings and bad stuff away from here, and leave them at the doorstep, don't bring them in. And that's what I think. Thank you. saying that, you know, I'm from Mashpee Baptist Church, and that church was built long before I came, and long before my parents came, and a lot of Wampanoags have been there. Our elders have always been through there, still come through there, we're still there. And um, I do a lot of voluntary work because basically my pastor, he's not able to make it to these places because he just had both of his legs amputated and he's not mobile enough, so I'm pretty pretty good with the tribe and all the members and you know Cedric me and Cedric are very close and um, so family members actually just come to me and ask me to do things and I volunteer my time because I have a lot of spirituality in me I have, I have a lot of that old mash we love in me so when the tribe comes and they, all, and they ask me to do things I do them and I do them be out of the respect for more than anything the respect of our ancestors who were once here who did the same thing who let, put their hand out for someone to help, always help someone, to love someone. It's what we always was built on. Uh, the people that are no longer here, sometimes that's, that, that, there's a little sadness that comes into your heart when you don't, when they didn't get to see all this, because this was a lot of their hard work also. They kept this tribe together long before there was any recognition, long before there was any buildings, our ancestors. And if I could take a guess, I think they're looking down and saying, pretty good job. They're saying, you guys held it up. Now teach your children. So I think a lot of that has to, that was the past. Here's the future. Let's show our kids. Because everything that I volunteer for, everything I talk about that I'm in love is, is basically built on passion for our people. It's something that can't be taken from you. They can take your car. They can take your house. But they can't take that mash be out of you. They can't take that warmth out of you. They can take a lot of things. And when I say they, it's not pointed at anyone. I'm saying... There's things that take you away from your heritage. There's greed, there's um, insincere people. But I surround myself with positive people. This is a positive thing happened here with this tribe. I have all the faith in the leaders. And that's what I'm built on. That's what Mashpee's built on. Love and passion for each other. Long before this, we were warm. And we'll be warm forever. Oh, hey. Jackson and the building and the tribe means a lot to me. When we first got fairly recognized, I cried. Somebody brought it to me. They said, Now you're in this new building, LeBron. I said, And I cried. I am so happy that we're finally, not seeing what I cry. <laughs> I'm so happy we finally made it here. You know, we've got a lot of ancestors that passed and didn't get to see this, but we're here. We're going to remain here. They think we're going to go away. We're going to remain here and we're going to get stronger and bigger, and our youths are going to run, youths are going to run this. They are very important to us. And like you said, the building, they will make sure it becomes bigger and better. So it means it means the world to me and my family and my people. And to that I say hope. <laughs>
Tasawis Winata Inene. Hello, my name is David. Uh, I said first my Indian name, uh, man alone, or one who walks alone. Um, I was, my title on the project was project coordinator. Um, uh, that kind of ran into some of the uh, clerk of the works uh, work as well. Um, myself and David Green, who I, I have to say I learned a lot from. He's very, he was invaluable in the uh, overall project and uh, I really learned a lot from David Green uh, in the process. Uh, this was the first project that I worked on uh, this size uh, in a building. Um, my background's been more uh, road work and bridge work, uh, state highways and such. Um, is most of my construction background. But uh, it was a pleasure to come and work for the tribe on a building that, uh, you know, was for our own people. And it was nice. Ironically, I, I actually worked on the original structure that was here that we demolished uh, 25 years ago um, under the direction of Ramona Peters um, when that initial tribal council building was being built. Um, and then, you know, 20 years later, uh, I joined the building committee and helped in the design process uh, before getting on board as a pro project reps, um, project coordinator. Um, so it was nice to see it start to finish, uh, be a part of it, be a part of history. Um, I hope that our young folks appreciate it. Uh, I'm happy that our elders are here to see it uh, come to fruition. Uh, it's been, like, she's, like Jesse had said, six years in planning. So it took a long time to get where we're at today. Um, but uh, now, presently, I work with Ramona Peters again, uh, 25 years later. And uh, she's in the uh, Tribal Historic Preservation Department. And I work with her doing cultural resource monitoring on archaeological projects, as well as uh, assisting her in researching potential projects that are coming down the pipe. Uh, while working with her, uh, doing the research in the office, um, able to learn a lot about the history uh, of the tribe. Um, there's a lot more accessi accessible to me uh, working in that office, and it's a great honor to work with someone as knowledgeable as Ramona uh, in, in the Tribal Historic Preservation. Uh, some of the rooms that we have in here, uh, craft rooms and uh, the educational rooms, uh, the school rooms, it makes you feel better and secure in knowing that our culture is going to thrive and grow, um, revitalize itself. Uh, a lot of folks feel as though culture is the living, breathing thing, like each one of us, and it needs to be nurtured in order to grow properly. Uh, we've been a long time uh, kind of disconnected, and I hope that this building being a nucleus and a central hub will revitalize uh, our tribal tribes growth um, and I hope that we you know don't forget about our cultures and traditions some of the rooms are set up in a way where you can do crafts that uh, you know may make a mess uh, there's drains in the floors and such to try and teach our children mat making and hang on to those uh, unique crafts that uh, only our folks do um, Mashpee has a rich culture uh, rich traditions and we've been known to hang on to a lot of those traditions and cultures. And so, you know, throughout the design process, we made sure we accommodated the nurturing of those different skills to continue uh, and ensure that those skills are not lost. Um, so I'm proud to have been uh, involved in all the different aspects throughout. And it's been a great honor and it's a pleasure to work with uh, you know, the different individuals that I have worked with. Um, it's been a, actually a great experience for myself in and on. Good morning, everybody. How are you? I can't hear you. Hey, first of all, I want to say thank you for coming. We are masters. We are the proud. We're the Masipi Wampana'a, as my cousin has told me. 
And it's a very beautiful day to enjoy this building. It's the hub of our tribal nation. It's very important to all of us here. It's where all our programs and services happen. It's where our elders gather. It's where our youth gather. We have a gymnasium. I plan on scoring 50 points in my dreams. You know, we have a youth facility, a natural resources department, health department, housing. I'm a little nervous, I don't do this that much. Language, and much, much more. Education, LIHE, elders, as I said, ICWA. And we have lots more. What else do we have in here? <laughs> Housing. We have our judges. We have a fitness center. You got to see that. I work out there every day. Storage preservation and health. So we have a lot, a lot of important services here. Beautiful elders department. And a beautiful elders department. Beautiful elders. Our elders. Our elders beautiful, everyone. So that's what it's all about. It's about us. It's about a community, but it's about you. And I want to thank each and every one of you for making this possible because without you, it wouldn't happen. I want to thank Vice Chair Jessie Bid for her diligence in seeing this project through. I want to thank the USDA for that funding that we received. You know, I was giving a speech at my alumni at the University of Massachusetts, Boston, and uh, Jen Lurch, and I don't know if she's here, but we talked about, Jen, where are you? Jen, are you here? Wave your hand, Jen. Jen, come up front. Hi, Jen. Jen, come up front, please, with the USDA folks. And we're, we're actually going to have USDA speak over at the tent, but I want I want you to see them because they made it possible. Put your hands together for Jen. Woo! She said, I can help. We can make it happen. And it was beautiful. So we're going to have some words from you over at the tent. And Congressman Keating, it's in his district. Thank you, Thank you, Greg, and there's one expression that came to mind to me this morning, and that's the expression, back to the future. Because what we have here is the preservation of what is such a proud heritage, and it's going to be preserved this way. Uh, the education and the cultural traditions now have a home, uh, a home that can last and a home that can be, we can all be proud of. And we can take, by looking back, all those cultural and educational traditions and push them to the future this way so that the new generations and the generations to come can be part of that, experience it, and move forward for other generations. And at the same time, looking to the future, providing important healthcare services. So this is truly a, an outstanding morning. It's a transition time, and it's a time to be proud of our past and look forward to our future. So, it's a new beginning for us, right? It's a new beginning and that's what it's all about. So, we're getting ready to cut the ribbon. Also, I want to recognize our Chief Vernon Lopez, Silent Drum Chief. Wave your hand. song over to the tent. We're going to have some uh, words from our chief, our medicine man, Congressman Delahunt, some of our elders. We're going to head over to 